So planning stages, we start planning immediately with measuring from the back of the knee to the front of the knee, and that is a perfect AP diameter. We then get to look at the lateral to medial view, and again, this is the patient's CT anatomy, so we're measuring on the patient's anatomy, and the width is just spot on. That also lets us look at where the kneecap lives, and you don't want to overstep that. You don't want the implant too tall, because otherwise that puts pressure on the kneecap, so that checks out good. This guy's got a little bit of a bull leg or a varus deformity to his knee. So we're gonna start off with a couple of de degrees of varus and we'll offset that with one degree of the other direction or valgus. But the real secret to this is when we register the knee, we get inside the knee, we'll make adjustments so that his knee is completely stable in extension. We'll then do the same thing in flexion. Those then have to match up. That's the art of putting a balanced knee in place and the robotics is really a cool uh, tool to help us do that. We then get a chance to uh, to look at the knee and how it looks when we do a three-dimensional rotational view. And that is exactly how you want your knee to fit on the end of your thigh bone. The tibia is pretty easy, that looks good too. Good plan. Yeah, we started it. Yeah. The numbers are great. It says 10, but that leg looks straight to me. It says 10, but that leg looks straight. I think it was hyper to start. Yeah. 